the entire city of Raleigh will be under a curfew tomorrow night. This comes as demonstrations are planned this weekend for Jacob Blake, a Wisconsin man who is now paralyzed after being shot seven times by police. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is live in downtown Raleigh, and Mac business owners are the ones that asked for this curfew. Angela, they sure did, and they are trying to prevent a repeat of what happened last time during the first few days of the George Floyd protests. As you know, those escalated quickly, which led to rioting, looting, and stores damaged, just like this one, which, as you can see, is still closed about three months later. Now, the city of Raleigh Mayor Marianne Baldwin acknowledged since those protests, there have been many nonviolent protests throughout the city. The mayor says both the city and police will be treating the justice for Jacob Blake protests as peaceful as long as they stay that way. This is what the mayor had to say when I asked if police will have tear gas or rubber bullets. We have had many peaceful protests. Um, the police officers have been in their blues. Um, they have had conversations with the protesters. They have um, focused on de-escalation. And, um, you know, that's how they've been operating. Unless we see otherwise, I believe that's how we will conduct um, ourselves on Friday night. Now, the curfew starts tomorrow. That's Friday from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. And then will go into effect again on Saturday at 10 p.m. through Sunday at 5 a.m. There are several exceptions for military, medical personnel, and delivery drivers as well. And the mayor says the city will be closing several roads here in downtown Raleigh just to make sure if there is an emergency or a fire like that happened here at the CVS, that first responders and firefighters will be able to to get through safely and we'll hear from some of these downtown businesses which again requested this curfew coming up tonight at 11. For now live in Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.